Hey there, everyone. This is Al Calbling, the delightful adventure. The game got patched in spite of being during the holidays. The game got patched anyways. So, I forget what it does. The slopes are now fixed so that they go at proper slope speed when you slide. And the jingles are not supposed to be five times louder than everything else in the game. It was, I feel like there was a third thing, but I forget. You know what, let's just go. We got three levels here, according to the thing, and we're gonna go to the sea stroll. Here I go! Here he goes. Uh, that darn gosh, Mario. So in theory, there'll be three levels. Sunshine, seaside! And, uh, things are gonna happen. Maybe, I don't know. Well, okay, that's not enough slope to really be able to tell. Yeah! Was that, was it that? It's hard to tell for me. Like, I don't know. Oh, this is a... Uh, it sounds like a remix. Alright, you know what? It's Mars, so we got some fish. Check out that jumping guy. I'm gonna steal your shells before you can do anything else at all. That's right, welcome to the water. Now it's... it's underwater. It's a remix. That fish is swimming. Hey, it's Lava Lotus from Super Mario Brothers 3. How's it going? But yeah, there's the spike fish. Also from that game. Did Spike ever come back? See, the thing is, having spikes on your head as a fish is kind of meaningless, because in general, Mario's not allowed to interact with the top of enemies while swimming regardless. Yeah, just this most powerful of obstacles, this one... this one block there. Welcome to this little, nice little cave thing. You can get things. That one-up makes a one-up sound. It's pretty wild. That was a nice little reprieve. Yeah, see, we're on the water. Fireball is great. Destroy everything. You leave one fish behind. He's just looking out the wall. He's clearly very confused or bemused. He's just gonna, wow, a wall. Unbelievable. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I've applied a patch and everything, so I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, because you got spike head. See, it makes sense. Can't jump on you because you got a spiky head outside of water. That is very... Okay, no, see, there, there... Whoa, buddy. Okay, things are getting a little too... Oh, that's the third thing that got fixed. Yes. Uh, when you pop an item like that, it's not count as a projectile, so it won't get destroyed by other things. Like happened during the ninja boss, when it uh, shurikened my mushroom. I don't know. I don't know if that was worth fixing. I thought I was pretty funny. And you know, like, it's just, it's something that happens once, you learn about it, and then it becomes something you have to kind of, you know, just kind of like, play around. But hey, was not intended behavior, so go ahead and fix it, it's fine. I just, I think that might be over fixing? I don't know. A little bit of jank is all nice and good. Yeah, so, with these enemies, the thing to do, clearly, is to just go. Just go. They're only gonna be dangerous if you, like, spend some time around, so just don't do that. See, I was like, oh, there's a little, like, fish tunnel here. I want to experience the fish tunnel. So even though I could destroy the individual fish of the fish tunnel, I feel like I didn't want to destroy the fish tunnel spirit. So I didn't. Now I'm gonna bring the shell. Yeah, that's right, into a money zone! That's this game. You go through a level, then it feels great. It's like, yeah, we did it! Whoosh! Oh, wait, this is going to be a mod zone? Wait, the status... Yeah, okay, oh, there's going to be another level, I guess. Post-boss. Alright. On the boat, Buccaneer Bowser's Big Bad Battleship. That is a name. And it goes... Sometimes. No swimming. Pomps romp again, makes sense. Oh, MHMS Terrapin, it says up there. I guess that's the name of the boat. I guess we're going in. Down we go! Down the ladder zone. Wait, is this just boss fight immediately? Hey, Bowser. Look who it be! <laughs> oh, he's fun. Alright, so yeah, the boss... Okay, so... Don't be where a cannonball will erupt. That is my suggestions to me. Okay, oh... I didn't- I didn't do that right. Oh, then that just exists. It's got a li Why is that there? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you do that? Why did you summon that block? Oh, I'm assuming he's not the one that summoned that. Because that wouldn't make any sense. Oh, oh. Yeah, and I can't- yeah, the water will hurt you. 
Oh shoot. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I was just, I was just in a bad position there. I just fell apart, basically. It's like I knew I couldn't stay there. I, but I, I just, I couldn't. I don't know. Like I, I needed time to summon my thing, but I kind of forgot why the summon thing, and I also forgot it would appear there where I was. Point is, I just kind of stumbled. It happens. Yard yard, and then he goes away immediately. That's very nice of him. So okay, so for some reason I was imagining a bigger bounce on a bull. This is because I'm thinking of the cannonballs during the K rule fight. And I think it's pretty why you know clear why I would be thinking of K rule because it's it's a big large green boss and we're on a pirate ship and it's also playing BKC2 music. Oh, we can do that. Just stand on a corner and cry. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. But you gotta do that while he got a fireball in his mouth, because that's what hurts him. There we go. I'm so sad that you can just do this. <laughs> like, he's trying to aim here. But he's limited by the reality that, you know, whoosh. That, uh, faces need to exist. On the head part, you can't just put a face on your wrist. That's just not how it works, all right? Character builder has its limits. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, what? oh, I guess I gotta wait for you to go. Oh, that's why it was like thundering there. It's because it was destroying the pipes. Yeah, that's right. Fireball mouth into the ship. It blows up, and it's done. So that was like a whole like boss. Like the whole level's a boss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna cannon yourself? Wait, whoa. Well, you got the chest, I guess. Captain Bowser, what? All right, here we're flipping, we're slipping, spinning. And yeah, the music, the music volume makes a lot more sense. This poor shit, like that thing is tiny. We just kind of had had a fight on the side there. Don't you supposed to? You should have a crew or something. There's a clown guy, head carved out. Uh. All right, what's in there? Hua! That's an exclamation. That's not an answer. Oh, well, hello there, strange orb thing. Ooh, it has a special text box. The Great Jin Osoroshi. Okay. A Jin. Alright. Uh, let's get three wishes. Yeah? That'd be pretty good. <laughs> oh no! That is perfect for everyone's favorite Bowser. <laughs> you see, you still, you still kind of just have to take you at your word. That you can take you at your word, though. Like that's the thing. I'd say this sprite of Bowser is really expressive. Look at that. Ooh. You can see the bug that forms his face in the fade out. That's very ominous. Oh, is the other spot this? The malicious meeting? Oh, so that wasn't a level. Oh. Well, okay, well, that was world two, so so some level spots might be like movies. Okay, I mean, like like I said, like I like my very clear delineations, uh, so we have delineated. Next time we're heading to the Melon Groove. Uh, yeah, yesterday I did not realize all we had left was a level and then a boss. Like I feel like I could basically almost do one world a day now and I think about it. But you know, like I'm in no rush though. Let's just keep things cool, keep things smooth. Let's just enjoy, let's enjoy things. Nothing wrong with that.